Welcome back to another episode of Hey Fam with Dr. Sam I Am, featuring Dr. Sabrine Mudawali, bringing you the best in educational tips to help you and your students thrive. Hey fam, Dr. Sam I Am, back to you with another video. Before we get started, please make sure that you guys like, share, make sure you subscribe below, and of course, slide that notification on over to the right so that you are notified when I upload a brand new video. So parents, I'm back again. 911, hell Dr. Sam I Am, you called and I came running. Today we're going to be discussing again everything remote learning, online learning, virtual learning, just learning in general as we learn how to navigate our new norm. So parents, I got five tips for you guys today as far as online learning is concerned. I know I've had so many questions about virtual learning, remote learning. So if you haven't already viewed my video from last week, make sure that you go back so that you can understand the difference between remote learning and virtual learning. And so today, I just want to hit another five tips for you guys. This is part three, our 911 help series. So the first tip that I have for you today, be realistic. Be realistic when it comes to this new norm that we have as far as remote learning, virtual learning, online learning is concerned. You know your schedule, know your work schedule, understand your work schedule, know how your child learns best. We have got to do this together, okay? And so what, as we are navigating again our new norm, we have to make realistic decisions. If you know your work schedule calls for you to be at work from nine to five, now this is where your tribe, remember, uh, we talked about this in week one, building your tribe as we are entering back to the new school year. This is where your tribe is going to have to come into play as far as ensuring that your child is getting the education that he or she needs during this season of remote online or virtual learning. And so as you're going through your work schedule, remember one of the things that I said, know your options, talk to your human resources, talk to your boss, see if there's possibility for you to actually work from home. Or if you do have to go into the office, see if this is possibility for you to be able to change your work hours. You have to know your options in order to know what is best for your family. So be realistic. You're not super, you're not superhuman and you cannot be in two places at one time. So if it requires you to be at work, it requires you to be at work. And so we'll have to figure out other ways in order to ensure that your child is still getting the education he or she needs. Be in the know. Pay attention to what is going on in your district. Be in the know. This means pay attention even to the district social media. Look at your district's website, even the school's website, the school social media, so that you will know and understand what things are being pushed out there, what options are being given to parents as we, again, are navigating this new norm. Many districts have started off with remote learning in order to ensure the safety of their children during this COVID pandemic. And so, if that is the case, you want me to make sure that you're staying up to date with the most recent and most current information that is being put out there by your school district. So the third thing, be intentional. Be intentional. Do what is necessary. What is necessary is not always convenient. And I know this is hard. This definitely is hard. But we have to do what's necessary to ensure the future of our children. And so again, this is where your tribe is going to come in. If you are a full-time employee like I am, I'm a full-time employee, I'm also a student. I actually work two jobs, okay? And no, I do not have children of my own. But I am one who has a ton of nieces and nephews. And even being a part of my family member's tribe, to help them to ensure because I have family members who have to work full time. Many are single parent. I'm a product of a single um, single mom, you know, and so we understand these things. So you have to be intentional when it comes to making those decisions that are necessary and those decisions that are also realistic. We talked about that in tip number one. And so let's work together to ensure that your child is getting everything that he or she needs while at the same token, being realistic about it, your work schedule, you need to work. There's no knocking that, okay? You've got to work, 
all right? But at the same token, we got to make sure that the child is getting everything he or she needs. So this, again, is where your tribe is going to come in. So we got to be intentional. Being intentional means we're going to do what's necessary, but what is necessary is not always convenient. Tip number four, be diligent. Stay on top of it. Stay on top of things. Make those phone calls, plan what you need to plan on weekends so that when it comes to, during the week, that Monday through Thursday, Monday through Friday, however your district or school system has designed the learning, virtual learning, please make sure that you know you are in the know, stay in the know, be diligent, stay on top of it, plan what you need to plan out. If your child has to go to someone else's home to do the work, if your child needs to go to a daycare or whatever it may be, let's go ahead and plan that out. Let's be diligent. Let's stay on top of what it is that we're doing. And the last tip is tip number five, be inquisitive. Be inquisitive, ask questions. Ask questions as often as possible, okay? There is no one knows all the answers shucks <laughs> the districts the leaders we're we're all leading we're leading um leading into this learning as we're leading and so we don't have all the answers but we are asking questions the same thing with parents please make sure that you're continuously asking questions of your district of your teachers of your school administrators of other parents of your child you know we talked about this last week including your child in the conversation you all, we're going to get through this, but we're going to get through this together, okay? It is so, so important during this time that we remain sensitive to the spirit, that we remain sensitive to the needs of our children. And we know as parents, we're going to fight for your kids to the end. Your leaders in your school district, your teachers, your administrators, we have your back. We are behind you 100%. And whatever we need to do to ensure that your, your child receives an adequate and efficient and effective education is what we're going to do. We're going to do what is necessary. And again, what is always necessary is not always what's convenient. So again, I always want to leave you guys with an educational quote. And today's quote comes from Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin said, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. I hope you all have an amazing week. Stay tuned for next week's video and I love you guys. Peace out.